governor and the Public Service Commission, state regulators, recently said that they want Charter, which merged with Time Warner and reorganized the cable franchise as Spectrum, they want them to sell Spectrum because Spectrum has not lived up to the conditions of the merger, which involve building out to underserved communities in rural areas and inner city communities, and they didn't provide the speeds that they have promised. And I think customers know that the costs have escalated way beyond the rate of inflation. And the uh, service, you know, you, you, when you need service, you get a phone tree. It's really hard to navigate. And then you finally get to the web page, and it's hard to navigate. It's hard to get a real person. So people aren't happy with the customer service. So they have reasons to want something different. And then we've had federal regulatory changes, which eliminated net neutrality and privacy protections. So with the state saying Spectrum should be sold, I think there's a real opportunity to go to a public broadband system, have the state take over Spectrum. The state could assist municipalities in setting up community broadband that's accountable to the community, not absentee owners. It would operate at cost for a community benefit, not for the profits of absentee owners. And this, the State Federation of Community Broadband Systems would provide the broader infrastructure, planning the build out that hasn't been done, and be a larger entity to negotiate with the TV networks and other vendors to get good prices for the things that'll be the content on the service. Now Syracuse, I mean, uh, for New York to go to public broadband, we would be joining 750 <laughs> communities around the country that have community broadband, <clears throat> excuse me, there are 750 communities around the state that have community broadband. And there was a study out of Harvard University earlier this year that said the community broadband services provide the same service, actually better service, at substantially lower cost. So 750 communities can't be wrong. The ACLU has also recommended that communities go to public broadband to get net neutrality and particularly privacy protections that they're concerned about as civil libertarians. So I'm calling on the state to do this, to set up community broadband all across the state. But there's an opportunity here for Syracuse. It was an issue during the mayor's race. The Spectrum franchise, formerly it was Time Warner and before that Adelphi, has been grandfathered since it expired in 2007. And every three months the PSC just rolls that over, rubber stamps it. And yeah, come on. Uh, and the city itself spent about 100, over $100,000 on a community needs assessment to set up negotiations. But, you know, in 11 years, uh, Time Warner and now Spectrum has just not negotiated in good faith. Now, the interesting thing is with the Public Service Commission upset with Spectrum, it's a good opportunity for the city of Syracuse to make a just cause case to take over the operation of the franchise here in Syracuse and run it under community control. So basically I'm urging the state to take over Spectrum, assist communities in setting up community broadband, urging Syracuse to take the initiative now, which will create momentum, because this is going to end up in the courts, whether it's a private purchaser or a public takeover or Spectrum somehow keeps it. They're going to be in court for a while, but maybe Syracuse can start the initiative. And the last thing I'd like to point out is that I'm glad we have so much media out today, but as you people know as journalists, there are not too many reporters out here. Post Standard didn't make it. They hardly have any reporters left. One of the good things I think people appreciate about Spectrum is their news service. And it operating in the public interest, we can keep that and in fact enhance it because local news coverage is so important. And I think community broadband, public broadband will enable us to make sure we still get coverage of local news. And finally, uh, we put out a petition today that'll be on my website, HowieHawkins.org, where people can say, yes, we want a public takeover of Spectrum so we can set up community broadband. So I'd be happy to take questions. You mentioned the, uh, the grandfather clause that you mentioned rubber stamping rolled over. I don't know if you completed that uh, thought. What, what, what is that that you're talking about? Well, when the franchise expired in 2007, every three months, maybe it's every six months, the PSC just says, okay, we'll keep going. 
and it's sort of a routine thing they've been doing for over a decade. And I'm saying now that they're upset with Spectrum, maybe the city can go to them and say, uh, you know, we tried to negotiate, we haven't got an agreement, why don't you let us take it over? And as I said, this is an issue in the mayor's race. If I recall correctly, Mayor Wall said it's something we should look into. Stephanie Miner and, and the administration and the council appropriated money for a needs assessment to help the negotiations. Uh, you know, the city's concerned because the problems we had with the franchise, we don't have public educational and government channels like a lot of communities do. We got one channel, it's up on channel 98 where people hardly even know it's there. There's very little content. Very different than other communities. You go around like the Manhattan Neighborhood Network, uh, they're hosting a governor's debate. They had me in there for a two minute speech they're gonna throw. They, the programs, you know, they, they really cover the city of, of New York City. Um, go down to Ithaca or out to Baldwin, so you got very good community broadband. We haven't had that. Plus, it's supposed to provide for community production facilities. Until recently, the technology was the 80s. It was like Betamax. In fact, Walt Shepard of the media unit had to go to Congressman Walsh to get money so we could set up uh, production in his facility there on Montgomery Street because he would take them over once a year just to show how they did it in the old days. But, uh, you know, that's inexcusable because that's what they're supposed to provide as a franchise. So, you know, I think the city has, you know, good cause to go to the state and said, let, let us take it over and operate it in the public interest. One of the major factors of uh, the debate that's been going on with Spectrum and Charter in New York State is that it wasn't doing its job to uh, serve the needs of underserved rural communities. How would a public broadband uh, serve those people better? Well, it's supposed to operate in the public interest, just covering their costs rather than maximizing profits for distant shareholders. So we can make a priority on that, and they won't get pressure from the shareholders not to do it. They'll get pressure from the communities that don't have the high-speed coverage yet. So it'll be a better situation to build out to the rural communities. And look, here on the south side of Syracuse, you know, we've had a hard time getting high speed. It's not just Spectrum, Verizon. Verizon was given permission in 2005 to build a Fios network, and in 2010 they said, we're done. And they only built it on the east side and near the university where people are more affluent. You go on the south side, in fact, our Green Party office had Verizon for a while. They said they provide three or more megabits per second, and they could only get up just under one. And finally, after you know fussing with it, we, we finally got a hold of a real person, and they said, oh, some piece of technology is 10,000 feet away. We can't get you up to one. So we said, okay, uh, we're gonna change who we, our provider is. And then they tried to hit us with a $600 exit fee that we never got a contract for. It took us six months, you know, arguing with them to get out of that. That's the kind of thing that makes people mad because they just don't get responsive service. If this thing is the community in control, the customers are in charge, the company be working for the customers rather than some absentee owners. So it just sets up a structure that creates the incentives to build the system out so everybody gets high-speed coverage. Well, if there are no more questions, I really appreciate people coming out, including my supporters. You guys got to be on time, man. These guys got a schedule. So, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Yep. Hey, Julius. Oh, yeah.